One of my favorite political commentators is Judge Janine Pirro. She was on Fox and Friends this morning, and let's watch this clip and you'll find out why I like her so much. Strategy, apparently, of Democrats appears to be to push the party further to the left. But is this really the right strategy to use? Who would know better than Judge Janine Pirro, host of Justice, joins us now to react. The president told Ainsley, I want Nancy Pelosi to stick around. <laughs> That's because Forever. he's a smart man. I mean, you know, he's the outsider who won the presidency. I mean, the, the best thing that could happen, everybody knows, is, is for her to stay. And yesterday, when she was trying to explain and rationalize why she needs to be in, she's so respected, she's so loved, and, you know, with the hand of the whole thing, I mean, Nancy, go for it. You stay there. Judge, if uh, people don't know what you're talking about, we've got that sound bite. Here it is. <laughs> You want me to sing my praises? Is that what you're saying? Why should I? Well, I'm a, a master legislator. I am a, a, a strategic, politically astute leader. I am a, a, my uh, uh, leadership is recognized by many around the country, and that is why I'm able to attract the support that I do. Judge, she is good at raising money for members, but she is bad at winning elections. Perfect. Perfect, because they raised so much more in the in the Georgia race, and it didn't matter. So she can keep raising money for them, and if she's a master legislator, I mean, she ought to talk about the fact that Obamacare is, like, in, in the hole right now. On your point, didn't she say you got to pass Obamacare to know, to know what's, what's in, in it, it, and she calls that master legislator. Right, right, and you know what? They got what they wanted, and I think the American people, what I love about the latest race is that I wasn't as much happy about this is great, a Republican won. I was happy about the fact that Americans are, see, are normal. I'm, I was starting to worry that with everyone, you know, yelling uh, crazy stuff about the president and, and burnt, blowing up the White House, all that stuff, I said, you know what, I wonder if America is the same as it was when I was growing up. And this kind of reaffirms my faith in the American election. Yeah, everyone wanted to see what the results were going to be because President Trump's been in office for more than 150 days. They wanted to see, does the, does the American public still support him? And clearly they do. They do. do. Charles, they do. Yeah, Charles Krauthammer talked about Democrats and how bad their message was. Listen to this. I don't think we have. <laughs> I don't think well, we have. You said, said the message was bad. So <laughs> bad. I've got it in front of me. You want me to read yeah, it? He no, basically they, says, yeah, the message is bad. They the, need to change the, 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 Well, they don't have a message. The only message is a message of hate. The, the Democratic Party right now is a, is a party of hate and destruction, and I think it's, it's anti-American. I really do. I'm sorry. When you talk about, you know, killing the president and doing the stuff that they've been doing, it's, it's disgusting. You know what, Judge, to your point, we had Mark Penn on. Of course, he was the, uh, the genius for Hillary Clinton the time before last. He runs the Harris-Harvard poll, and he said, gave us a little preview yesterday about the upcoming poll that's going to come out Monday, and it is that... As the Democrats push this Russia thing, people in America feel that message is bad for America. You know, we have been saying it from the beginning. America could care less about this. Everyone's making a big thing about Russia. They want jobs. They want health care. They want to be proud of the country. They don't want to keep hearing about how horrible the president is yeah. when there is absolutely no connection. There is no evidence. I was a prosecutor. Put your, uh, your, your, your facts where your evidence is before you start claiming that the president is in colluding with the Russians. Well, now, the other thing, when you talk about an agenda judge that connects with the American people, the president talked a lot in the last campaign about cracking down on illegal immigrants. And his Justice Department now is jumping in on this fight on sanctuary cities. Yeah, well, what the Justice Department is doing, recognizing that a third of the illegal immigrant minors that came from Central America in 2014 uh, are in gangs uh, and, and, and in prison. Texas is now saying, you know, we've got this SB4 law where we're going to mandate that the local authorities assist the federal authorities and respect detainers. Department of Justice is now going in supporting that legislation because what they want is the ability to have these detainers lodged for illegal criminal immigrants and not have local law enforcement let them out the side door so they don't have to be arrested so or with, deported. With that statistic, are you saying that that flood of unaccompanied minors that we saw turns out 
A third of them are gang members? Not only are they gang members, they're MS-13 gang members. MS-13's in the business of killing people. It's Murder Incorporated. Let's make way. I saw they, your show and you were talking about it. They, they are horrific. They are absolutely horrific. So in 2014, when President Obama was saying, you know what, we've got to let them in. They're poor. They're this, they're that from Central America, El Salvador, Honduras, Guatemala. These are criminals. They were coming in alone. They were not coming in with their families. They were not babies who needed their diapers changed. They were gang members who looked right in the eyes of the Border Patrol and said, yeah, I'm with MS-13, yeah, I'm Latin King, you know, stop me from coming in. Yeah, I murdered someone, and we didn't stop them. Any crimes that are committed by these people who came in 2014, especially MS-13 gang members, uh, the, the, the blood is on the hands of Barack Obama. Well, we love Here, we, later, here we, we are. Yeah. It's what we knew. Hmm. You, we really, knew you really opened us up to that, because I didn't know how brutal they were until I watched your show on that. You oh had my. some of the parents on there. What yes. can we expect this weekend on your show? Well, this weekend we're, uh, oh, look, there's so much. Yes. 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 I'm like, I can't wait to go and write my open. I mean, right. you know I'm always fired up. We'll be watching. All right, Jack, <laughs> okay. thank you.